Hello, I'm back. Thanks for joining me for another shave video with me, the Suffolk Shaver. Uh, sorry about last week um, with uh, doing a shave for uh, Trevi B beginning of last week. And then I had a shave to do for one of the uh, Facebook groups, uh, the Shave Market, I think, doing a um, shave for PAA. So that was on Thursday. My normal shave would be on Friday. I just didn't really have enough uh, growth to warrant a shave, so uh, and then nothing happened over the weekend. I did have a shave, sort of late Sunday, but uh, we're back anyway. So today is going to be a uh, coffee-centered shave, um, particularly because I'm going to be using. I'm not sure if I've used this on the camera yet. I think I have the uh, Yaki. Professional brush 26mm, two band badger with that lovely handle, which I found out the penny dropped after uh, watching, I think, Spent Shaves, Spencer Frangle, sorry, uh, mentioned it on his video that looked like a uh, mock apart. But uh, yeah, I, I like it. Very unusual shaped handle. It's a good weight to it. Feels good in the hand. And uh, I like the two band badger knots at the moment. Very soft but uh, got a good backbone. I'm using the uh, Razor Master soap again today. It's the uh, coffee scent. Yellow. I think that's pronounced. That's from uh, it's on the front for a moment. Not sure if this, this is the Finnish one, I believe. Yeah, made in Finland, right there, look. So, uh, it's mainly the uh, sort of coffee scent. There is a sort of a cocoa scent under undertone. It comes in a sort of a, uh, a wax paper, but you get this tin as well through uh, shave, shave station, shaving station. And uh, I've taken the, the labels off carefully, off the uh, wax paper and put it on the tin. And uh, just press the puck down so it fills out. Because if you just push the puck, put the puck in there, then you've got an empty area around the uh, outside. Which obviously when lather gets down there, you can't get it out again. And uh, post shave is going to be Barrister Man Leviathan, which is leather, coffee and sandalwood. My uh, favourite scent at the moment from Barrister Man, from what I've got anyway. So I've just recently had a shower. Just re the beard again. So I've got two days growth. So we're coming out of uh, bank holiday weekend. Hope you had a good weekend. Um, Saturday went, uh, done a bit of shopping in town and uh, Saturday, that was Saturday. Sunday done a bit of um, shopping. Yeah. And uh, went to the club on Sunday as well I believe. And uh, Yeah, I've recently got a uh, membership at our, the social sort of sports club that's just around the corner from us. Yeah, sort of a fun day on there, so attended that for a little while. And yesterday, me and my son went to see uh, Deadpool Two at the cinema. It's a good film. Um, there was a lot of uh, references to other films, so if you're not sort of a big movie fan, most of the jokes would probably go over your head. And uh, certainly a good few went over my head. You really got to be into your films and your comics and 
suppose overall good film. There was one particular uh, part that was uh, really funny. I won't say what it is just in case uh, I don't want to spoil it for you if you're going to watch it at some point. So what I'm doing is uh, just loading the knot here and I'm going to just transfer it uh, to the bowl. So a big 26mm knot so I'll load it heavy. that's enough. If not, we'll go back. I've not shown you the razor yet, which is a supply razor, version 2. I've got two blades on the go at the moment. I shaved with this on Sunday. I just, I'm just i getting sort of mixed up with both. I don't know which is the older of the two, so I'm using this one today. Uh, different to the blade I use Sunday, just what I see which is the older and then chuck it, chuck it out because I think the older one has got uh, a good 9-10 shaves on it and just transfer into the bowl now this is a, a plastic, cheap plastic bowl you know if you drop it it's not going to cause any issues unlike a, you know, if you drop a ceramic one Just watched uh, another cut above. He's done a live shave. Good few people turned up. Because there's such a time difference between the UK and Australia, um, we sort of tend to miss each other's live shaves. But, um, I was in the middle of watching another video and uh, got a notification that um, <clears throat> Chris was doing a live shave so I went straight over there and joined in. Yeah, just go quickly going back to this bowl again, it's a plastic bowl as you can probably see it's shiny which is the same when I bought it on the inside but I took some medium grit sandpaper and uh, took the shine off and that give it some uh, when you're loading your brush that give you your lather some grip so it's nicely loaded there still got some in the bowl there let's wet the face again yeah I had a really close shave on Sunday Don't really need to build up the lather anymore. Just trying to work it to the stubble. Not really had a problem with this uh, brush holding lather. I saw a video yesterday from um, Dartmouth Shaving. Show us how to get a nice lather with Williams mug soap. So I'm looking forward to giving that one a go. Why was, you know, when somebody put a video up saying, you know, this is how you lather Williams mug soap. I try it, but it just, it just doesn't work. Got flow through on that. <laughs> put on chin, like Chris does.
centre still there, so a little weaker than that on the tin. Blades of the uh, Persona injector. Yeah, you know, I can tell straight away this is the newer blade. Well, this is nice and slick. had two weeks off work and she's back to work today. Last shave for me. And uh, for June shaves, I'll be using the uh, sterling soaps. And the four new sterling soaps I've got. I'll be using a uh, <clears throat> one as I got four, I, got, I use one a week. And for the other shaves, I'll be using them. Um, soap samples that Flash and uh, Kevin sent me. Sunny day today, as you can see, it's sun shining through the window. It's a little bit of wind as well. to escape all that uh, rain. Which, um, unfortunately, the, the more north you are, the worse the weather was. So a few uh, <clears throat> how the weather, weather was with you over the weekend. Along the bottom here, as it's uh, 
south to north up to about here which is with the grain and when I go with the grain here after I've gone up here then I'll go straight down and that'll be a sort of with the grain and against the grain in one sort of path Pause here, get some uh, fresh water in the sink, and I'll see you in a second. Now back again. Before I start the second uh, second pass, I'll invite you to uh, get involved with the uh, giveaway I'm doing. It's for the uh, the Bart's Balms products. That's the uh, the lime oil balm. Got the uh, bergamot and vanilla aftershave lotion. These are all 60 ml bottles. And this is the uh, amber and Moroccan jasmine. This is the beard oil. So if you're uh, got a beard or a partial beard or any facial hair for that for that matter, there's quite a bit left in there. I've only used uh, for you know when I was growing my beard out. That's the level for that one. And that's a white bottle, so you can't really see. It's not a white bottle, but it's, it's, it's full. I've only used a little bit. I think it's a white, I'm not sure if it's a white bottle or the product. Anyway, they're all 60ml, they're all uh, argan oil infused. So uh, if you want to get involved with that giveaway, then uh, I won't be setting any questions this time. So I think that sort of put people off last time. Just uh, comment below, I'm in. I'll uh, have out for a week, so um, Monday midnight into Tuesday, I'll, uh, I'll stop it and then uh, take all, you know, take the, the video down and then use the, the uh, random picker, whatever it is that uh, Ken Surf Shoes, the uh, YouTube random picker, what that's called. And if you don't grow facial hair and you want to sort of pass that on to uh, a friend that does, then that's an option for you. Doesn't matter where you are in the world. So it's going to cost me too much to send off. I, I can get that out of the way and then uh, there'll be another one in about a month's time. I'm using a product off camera at the moment for someone. And when he gives me the, give me the nod um, that I can show it on camera and then I'll do that. There's uh, three items. Uh, one I'm keeping for myself. <clears throat> and then the other two will be given away to two lucky winners. So uh, stay, tuned, stay tuned to this channel for that. So now we're going across the grain. I think I've only used this blade once before. It's uh, in a live shave. One of my subscribers, Alex De Leon, wanted to, to uh, wanted me to demonstrate how to load a blade in this razor. This is the uh, 
two dot uh, plate. There's three dots in all. One dot, a two dot, and a three dot. Obviously, the more dots, the more aggressive it is. I won't say aggressive, more, more efficient because you don't sort of really feel, feel the blade. Just very smooth. Used a lot of flashes samples on my Sunday shave. That's the uh, Mountain Man, Sterling Mountain Man. Not a fantastic scent. A lot of us, uh, so into the shave, we saw. Sort of, if the soap is really slick, we sort of carry on and uh, don't relather. So more, I'm feeling more of the uh, modern razors at the moment, opposed to the uh, vintage ones. Vintage ones are nice to use. They've got that, all, all that uh, history behind them. See what we've got. Just a little bit of water in there, not a lot. Do this for Flash because he loves this. Look at that lava, look at the peaks. There's a little bit of uh, bubbly there, but that, I think that's more further down the knot because of the, the lava there is not much. No bubbles at all. I still feel a bit of stubble, but I haven't done a third pass. But, uh, 
as I said, Sunday shave, done three pass and that was really close. That was on the uh, the older blade, the one that's got sort of nine, ten shaves on it. So I'll just uh, pause it here, rinse off my face, and then we'll come back for the post shave. Cheers. Okay, we're back once again for the post shave. And uh, this is what I'm going to be using for post shave. You see in the ingredients there, uh, witch hazel is high on the list. So uh, I don't need to apply witch hazel on then after shave. It's got a nice restrictor there. And yeah, since last quite a while. Nice burn. Doesn't really take any time to dry off, so whilst that's whilst it is drying off, we'll go through the styles of the shave. Let's put the lid back on tin. It's the uh, Razor Masters or Razor Master coffee scent soap. It's uh, made in Finland. You can see the ingredients there at the bottom. Pause it if you need to. Need to. Not much ingredients there. Very good. Brush was the uh, Yaki Professional 26ml and the uh, Mocha uh, Espresso shot, I think it's called. Got that through uh, eBay. I think it's just over £30. Took about two weeks to, uh, to arrive with a £2 badge or not. Very soft tips, got a good backbone. Yeah, it's really soft, nice, love it. And then razor was the supply version two in the mirror finish. And the blade was a Persona injector blade on the uh, second use. I'll just show you the uh, Bart's Balms again. It's the, uh, the balm itself. That's the lime oil, all argan oil infused. It's the beard oil, which is the uh, amber Moroccan jasmine. That's a nice sort of cologne, strong cologne scent. And then the aftershave lotion again. It's got that sort of uh, glycerin sort of feel, you know, like the uh, if you've got the Nivea Two Phase. And they're all 60 ml bottles. Well, were originally until I started using them, but haven't used a lot. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. As I said, sorry about uh, last week. I've got another event to do next week. I think it's next week. With uh, the show market again, it's a Barristan Man one, so I'll be doing that next week. So it'll probably be next week. This, this week will be today, obviously, Friday, and hopefully live on Sunday. Next week will be normally on Tuesday, and uh, then I don't know. Perhaps I can do. Perhaps I can do the uh, the Barrister Man one on 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 camera. Do it Thursday instead of Friday, so that one will be up a day early. So uh, have a good week. Um, have a good working week. Have some good shaves. Uh, if you're not subscribed so far, then please do so. Click on the bell icon for. Notifications for future videos, leave a comment or any questions below or send an email to the Suffolk Shaver at gmail.com. Let's have a good week and uh, have some great shaves and I'll see you at the end of the week for another shave. Cheers. Bye.